Well, Antoine's my son, and he's um, 15 years old. When I first met Antoine, he was a real quiet kid. So he kind of just stood off, and he just watched. He was very observant. Because of his reading problems, he was a little bit skittish about meeting new people. And that first year, we couldn't even get him to read a sentence. He struggled with reading and stuff, so it's like, you know, that was an issue. He's a young man growing up in a single household, and he's got a lot of pressure on himself to succeed. He's got a lot of pressure on the outside to succeed, and he's just really trying to do it. I think he's going to see that he can do something. Anton is exceptional in his compassion for others. He's always trying to help people besides himself. Just the kids looking after his behavior all the time, just seeing what a, a good character he is. He's the first kid to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, please and thank you. It really makes him a good role model. I try to help him out the best way I can. I love it. I think, like I said, I think he's one of the sweetest kids I've ever met too, so you're going to make me cry. <laughs> I want people to treat me with the same respect, so I do it to them. Well, when I first got Antoine, his reading level was at a kindergarten reading level. I remember the first day we tested him, and he pulls me aside and he goes, I'm embarrassed to do it. I can't take this test in front of people. So my team and I sat down and we really honed in on what he needed and where we needed to go with him. It's not gonna be a sprint for him, it's gonna be a marathon. Anton's greatest accomplishment is just the jump in skill level from when I started with him. This crazy confidence is just building. He was so focused on making sure that he could jump a level every time we tested. And then that third year, we got right on level right before we hit summer vacation, and he refused to go back. Every time I read, like, I'm not stopping. I'm not dead. And he just kept building, kept building. So we tested him again this year, and boom, eighth grade. In a span of about four years, we've gone from kindergarten to eighth grade. It's a huge accomplishment to make that big a leap from where we started. You don't make growth like this kid made without some type of recognition. When I found out Anton won the award, I was ecstatic. Uh, Brandy and I were just running around and yay! I was happy. I know he deserved it. Like, I didn't believe it at first. The more confidence he got in the reading, it showed overall in his confidence with everything that he's doing. And the other kids see that, like, he doesn't see the small picture. He sees a larger picture, and he feels that if I give to you, you're gonna give to John, and John's gonna give to Jane, and Jane's gonna just keep this cycle going, and it's just not gonna stop. And he truly lives by that. I'm proud of myself because I'm trying like my hardest. I know you're gonna do great. I can see it on your face, I can see it in your eyes. And I'm super proud of you and everything you've done. Miss Brandy. <laughs> Love it. She, she she's a loving person. She wants me to see it in life. You know, she wanna see me walk on stage.